Hello and greetings from sunny Victoria. This is Jerry Brimacombe with Light Lever Systems. One challenge that I've been facing is how to take notes better. I've got boxes of paper notebooks, but they're not that searchable. Flipping through pages is not really what I'm after. And also paper. So I want to have cloud-based. I'm trying to use OneNote more and more. How to find that balance between easily taking notes and finding those notes to be searchable and stored on the cloud, preferably. So with this, uh, this device here, the Surface Pro 3 that I bought in December, that was one of the reasons I got that device, was to try to solve that problem. I thought I could use OneNote right on the device, which I can, of course, and uh, take notes and handwrite, and uh, that it would be a great tool for when I'm in client meetings or just using in general. I would like to have one device that does it all. Uh, but I found that it lacks for note taking. The handwriting recognition was pretty good until I needed to correct something and then backspacing over it and trying to teach it, no, that's not the word that I want you to use here, was a bit clumsy. So writing directly in OneNote didn't work that well either because the character recognition from uh, my handwriting to actual text, searchable text in OneNote wasn't very good. And then of course there's the on-screen keyboard that pops up at opportune times with the Surface but strangely, it covers up the text a lot of the time. If you have a Word document, it'll actually not move the document out of the way. It'll cover up what you're typing. There may be some workarounds for this, but I was frustrated enough that when a Kickstarter campaign came along for the Rocket Book, that I decided to try it out. So this is the, the device here I'm talking about. This is the Rocket Book Wave. And uh, interesting little gadget. So it's a notebook. It's paper-based. But it's got a few things. First of all, notice the spine is plastic. This is microwavable. Yes, you now have a microwavable notebook. You didn't think you needed that, did you? Well, it uses these special pens. They're uh, Pilot Friction pens, and they are heat sensitive. So if you heat them up, they disappear. So like invisible ink. So the, the, the book is designed to be microwavable so that you can write in it keep all your notes and then microwave it and reuse it. So that's one thing that's kind of interesting. The part that's more interesting for me is that the book has an app that comes with it and there is some technology attached to it. So notice on every page there's a QR code and there's some symbols across the bottom. So the symbols show uh, a rocket or a diamond or uh, an apple, that sort of thing. And uh, you can configure the app, the Rocketbook app, to send your pages to whichever of those personal storage devices that you want. There are seven separate symbols, and here in the back of the book you see the way I've got mine configured. And uh, so you can set up for Google Docs and Dropbox and, and OneNote. Now OneNote, notice it's the personal OneNote. It doesn't have Office 365 OneNote configured yet. Uh, that capability is not there. So depending on which of the little symbols at the bottom of the page that you mark off, that you scribble on, the, the app will send that page to whatever symbol you've configured. So let's see that. Okay, so here's the, the page of notes that I've been working on. And I have go ahead and scribble in this uh, diamond at the bottom, which indicates to the app that I want to send this to OneNote. Then I'll open up the app on my iPhone here. And uh, it's already in scan mode, but normally you would see this history screen shows other scans that I've done. I would go into scan mode and notice the light comes on and it's looking for page. So now off camera, I'm going to come up and give it some distance between it and the page. And it'll just do a little green blink, flash, and now it scanned the page. If I do the click the check mark here, and it says ready to send one diamond, and so I can click send. So now it's sending that page up to whatever the diamond is configured to be. And as you can see here, oh, it's done already. If I close the scan app and go into my destinations, you can see that the diamond 
is set to OneNote main folder. So you can set to subfolders and such as well. Now let's take a look at the OneNote app and watch that come in. Okay, let's bring up OneNote here and see what we've got. So notice I'm looking at my personal notebook that's attached to my Microsoft account as opposed to my corporate notebook. And uh, this has taken a little minute to set this up. So it has already synchronized. And here's the page that we just scanned. Now, it did take a couple of minutes to synchronize. It's going up through Rocketbook server and then sending it to OneNote, of course. So it's not instantaneous. But there's the page. And um, it notice it, it leaves behind the QR code and the information at the bottom with the symbols. And the scan's not perfect. There's left some of the red behind there. Uh, but overall, it's definitely readable. So this is coming along uh, a way to solve the issue of computer-based versus handwritten. So maybe it's that bridging technology that I was looking for. Notice the page has a generic name, which of course you can rename. And then I could take and control Alt M to move that page somewhere else. Uh, somewhere more useful. So I can move it, of course, into any of my other notebooks, including my corporate one where I capture client information. So it comes a long way in solving that issue for me. So there you have it, the Rocket Book. Uh, hope that's useful for you. It's kind of an interesting hybrid technology, isn't it? So feel free to leave comments. So happy to hear from you. Let me know. And in the meantime, this is Jerry Brimacombe with Happy Note Taking.